close, but not the parts where people are shooting at each other in. Yeah, you want to avoid that. Yeah. That's why you also maybe I'll don't want to take a vacation to Hollywood. I'll camp out on the cliffs up there. You know? Yeah. Just like pitch a tent up there, little, watch the action. A little building right up on that little cliff face. Yeah. Watch, watch everybody brutally massacring each other. Watch Lucio knock people to their doom. We don't really know what happens to people on Ilios, though. We, well, I mean, when they go down the well, we know where they end up. But if they get knocked off the edge of the map, they might just land in the water and be fine. Yeah. You never know. The problem is the game is just too impatient to let us know. They're like, nope, time to respawn. I wish that's how it worked. What if it just turned into a fishing mini game where you had to catch a fish to get back into the action? <laughs> I should never be a game designer, by the way. No, you should. Look at this. Sebasai. On the fair already, starting things off for Misfits. Interesting comp bringing it in. They're going for the pharmacy, and we'll see how LW Blue responds. I think they're oh. caught a bit off guard by this. Whoa, Zebesai, the wrecking ball right now. It's cleaning house Dude. on LW Blue. Effectively an ace, just about Mecco will lose his mech. And that's pretty good, much going to be it for LW Blue on their first, first push. And Misfits wow. will take the cap. Man, what Man. a strong way to kick things off. 70% already wow. for Zebesai. Look at that. LW Blue already picking up the McCree and the Soldier 76. They uh, they know they need to swap things up to deal with this Farah, and uh, that's a good way to do it. So we'll see if they can have a little bit more success on their second push. Misfits just catching them totally off guard with this Farah pick. Yeah, but now you can see Flower is rotating over to that McCree, oh so dear. he can take out Zebesai in the air. We'll find that nice kill with the right click. Sometimes it does take out Janice, wow. but Flower just that sniping works. the Farah. Yeah. And that might just be a retake here for LW Blue. Pretty quickly, 35-ish percent there from yeah. Misfits. They're not going to go down without a fight, looks like. Uh, Manitin's falling in the end there, but... It, it was a good start for Misfits. It was a, a clever strat to come out with, but LW Blue quick to respond. They respond appropriately. They get the point right back again. So we're in for a close one, I think. That's yeah, definitely looking like it's Zebesai wasn't able to use that Rocket Barrage to dig as a Dragon Blade ready to go. Yeah. They That's almost have that reincarnate there. It's going to be that Rocket Barrage thrown down, but Zebesai oh boy. gets sniped out. The, the flight comes through from Zafik. They take him out. And Mako, no though. Nano boost on that. Oh, did he knock? Oh, wow. Well, he killed Nymphix anyway, so it didn't really matter. Defense coming in pretty well for LW Blue. They lose a couple people, but it looks like they should be able to hold out Zave. He survived, stayed on somehow. It looks like he might have been able to reconnect onto the wall and keep himself up for a little bit longer, but yeah. it's not really going to be able to help contest this. He's doing his damnedest, but it's not going to be uh, too much to be popping that Dragon Blade, but immediately gets stunned up by Flower with that flashbang, takes him out. Back into the mech is Mecho. Hammer fanned. And the LW, they will hold firm as they push back Misfits. Yet again, 51% exceeding that of Misfits already. So they stop at 39. Yeah. Misfits swapping things out now to pick on the uh, Genji. We have Zebesai, of course, uh, over on the Diva. Reinforce has been playing with that Winston for a little bit, but now we'll see if the dive works out. Earthshatter does catch the many Janus, manages to find someone. Such a great underrated Reinhardt player. Hits so many of those Earth Shatters that you don't expect him to catch a lot of people with. Zavin now finds himself on his own, goes down. Oh, but oh, goodbye, goodbye Janus. Reinhardt does not float. No, he does not. Flower, he going low. There oh, he is, the snipe close, coming man. through, does take him out. Zebesai is able to help out. Misfits will find the recap. Yeah, it's about 80%. Built up there by LW, so this one's going to have to try to hold this one just about all the way to 100%. Another uh, good response, though. Misfit swapping things up, making it hard for Sibyoldi to stay alive on that Soldier 76. He's going to swap over to Roadhog now. Gets slept after that hook. We'll see if the adaptation is going to be enough. Misfits using that sound barrier a little bit early. I, mean, I think the fight hadn't quite developed yet. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, Dragon Blade coming through, dashing in, already finds a double kill. And multiple members of LW Blue going down. Looks like it's four in the end as they try to chase on the gambler. Will be able to take him out. Yeah. And that will be Misfits backing up. They're about to tie the score. They can maintain this hold to be really strong for them, but don't have any ultimates available. And there's about to be three on the side of LW Blue, so they might be able to find a retake. Yeah. And this has been a great round to watch. Just both teams responding very well to the compositions that the others are trying. 
And right now, Misfits in the lead, over 90% right now in the control percentage. Flower pops the Deadeye, doesn't find anyone with it, wants to get a little bit more on that Nano Boost, looks for some kills, and Yobi helps him take down Reinforce. Backs off, though, didn't get as much out of that as I think he wanted to. Even with the Bio Grenade, gotta be a little bit careful there. Still got two kills, and they're gonna go be capping the point right now. Misfits trying to delay as best as they can, but it comes through in the overtime. So this will be LW Blue stacking up towards a 99% cap of their own. And Misfits, they're gonna have to give it their all to try to hold this one. Reinforce almost has the Primal Rage available. There is that Pulse Bomb and almost another Dragon Blade uh, from Tavik, so they nearly have the tools necessary, but they have to get onto the point right now. Yeah. Manton's trying to get back there with the Pulse Bomb. May find a good opportunity here. We're into overtime now. Both teams at 99% on our first point. And Misfits trying to just get some room, and they find it. Man, Reinforce with the ult. At the end, they're finally dying away. They've won the team fight, though, it looks like. And as they avoid the self-destruct, they should be able to retake. And they will. Yeah, that ought to be it there. The charge coming through from Janus, trying to get close, but he just can't do it. Misfits, really hard fought wow. back and forth on both sides, but they will go ahead, take the first round on Ilias. Yeah. That was a great round. I mean, if you want to watch a round and see teams respond to each other well, make good, educated hero choices, reinforce pumped out of about that one. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm playing something other than Reinhardt now, yeah. <laughs> but a great round. Really great round to watch. A good one to study, too, I think, if you want to look at responses to uh, what your opponent's throwing at you. Oh, for sure. I mean, we saw, you know, Flower immediately swapping over to that McCree so he can snipe out Zephyrsai on that Pharah. Wow. As soon as the Rocket Barrage came out, it forced him off of that. King the God reinforce. Well, as King an English, God. I appreciate that sign as an esports caster. But if I were an English teacher, I may have an issue. Probably. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a special treat to Vik. Starting things off on ruins with this Widowmaker. Hidden in the bushes. Yeah, trying to remain hidden as best as he can for the moment. Doesn't want them to know that he's here. Wow. Spotted Gambler back there. Getting a couple hits, but Reinforce, he goes down. Mecco takes him out. Medicine is able to find Luna in the back line, but the looks of things. Wow, and to Vic just... Finding a shooting gallery here. Yeah, nice headshot on, on the CBOB. Yeah, getting some damage done. This is the E out, but hasn't been able to find too many kills yet. Zemisai starting out with that Farah yet again. He goes low, almost like, goes down. You know, the issue is that with the Widowmaker with the Farah, you really can't get on the point and uh, take it if you have anybody to deal with. So they got some picks, but I don't think they got all the picks they were looking for, and it's a struggle. LW Blue nearly taken already. Yeah, they almost have the cap of Misfits now pushing in. They want to try to hold this one, but they lose three members. And that will be the cap from LW Blue. Getting the head start this time around. You can see Zemisai going to go ahead and try to peel back with Nevix in tow. Yeah, the you pharmacy alive. I wonder if we're going to see them make some changes, because, like I said, you just don't have a lot of members of the team, a lot of heroes that can stand on the point and survive right now. Yeah. Manitin's on the tracer. He's got that pulse spot ready to go. Oh, He's going to use it. Ooh, takes on Flower. All right. It's going to be a pretty crucial target. Whoa. Rocket Barrage comes out. Zebusai is able to take out Mecco, but they'll just kill each other in an exchange. Yep. Zave comes up with a double kill, taking out two tanks on the side of LW Blue. Nice play from the Lucio of Misfits. Takes out Luna as well. Triple kill coming in for Zave. Nicely done. And with those picks, Tavik, he's actually going to be able to push forward and get a stronger stance up on top of this pillar and start poking out LW Blue as they come from the respawn. Yeah, that's what they were looking for. If you get those picks, suddenly you don't mind having a, a squishier here on the point because there's nobody there to try to kill him. Gets a couple shots in working down CBLB. LW Blue, they do have a good amount of ultimates, almost six, really that they could work with to try to recap this point. Misfits, see how they want to play this one. Graviton Surge up here from Neko. But Misfits, they're playing back. So you can't really find a good time to throw out the Graviton Surge yet. Now Reinforce coming in, they're going to take down Zebusai fairly early here. Mecco looking for an opportunity for that Graviton Surge. But Misfits kind of piling in. There's a res from Nevix. Now bringing a couple people back. Oh, but I don't think he can get over in time. Yeah, he can't save Reinforce. Zebusai going down again after that res. And Tavik, kind of the last man standing along with Sabe here. LW Blue going to take the point. Yeah, can't really rely on that Widowmaker to be the one that holds the point for you. Not too much. So Misfits, they do push it to about 49%, but LW, they're already about to exceed that. All right, Tavik has, still has not swapped off of this Widowmaker. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing decent damage throughout this, and he has been finding a few pits here and there, but yeah, I agree. I, I just don't 
think it's been as effective as I think Misfits want it to be. Nemix over on the Zenyatta now, looking to add a little bit more forward damage in there. The stronger solo heal and Zephisai swapping onto the Reaper, and they're going to roll right back in there and take the point again. All right, nicely done. So I think he yeah. did finally get a very crucial pick on the Flower, which denied you know, the potential use of that uh, attack visor. Flower does still have it available. Uh, but finally, a crucial pick like that came through. So far, it's been a little bit rough, but it's like Misfits might be able to make use of this Widowmaker yet still. Yep. But the percentage is so even across the board between these teams. And Flower, I mean, they're just having a hard time approaching the point right now. He's going to pop the tag Visor. Oh, goes in. Oh, early kill on Zava right there. Keeps going, and man, this is a good play for Flower. Misfits only reinforced on the point right now, and he's not going to last too long. Looks like LW Blue is going to take this one back again. Not a lot of ults to work with defensively. I mean, this is just a game of inches right now. It's just, a, you know, recap, lose the point. Recap, lose the point back and forth, and eventually it's just going to hit this point where it's, okay, hey, now we're in overtime, and if we don't get this, uh, that's going to be it. The Misfits, they have that sound barrier ready to go. Not really close to too many other ultimates. If Nevix could get that uh, transcendence up, it might be crucial for Misfits to be able to retake. But already tied percentage coming through. Luna going to go ahead and throws out that nano boost onto Flower. It's getting a bit of work done, but they go ahead. They lose Janus. They lose Luna. And Misfits, they're firing back. They might just have the retake yet again. Yeah, I think they probably will. Uh, there it is. now on this Genji. Mansions on the Tracer, of course. And the Genji Zenyatta combo is a combo basically as old as Overwatch right now. And they're putting it to good use. So Symbiolbi keeping the point alive for a, a moment. But no, Misfit's able to take it back. I like these changes. Just a lot of aggression. Symbiolbi, though, in the kill on that Tracer. And they're going to storm right back in again. Yeah, fine. Zave, the cap's coming through. It's going to be Misfit's trying to buy as much time as they can. Reinforce loses the mech, will lose his life. Prince, and it's coming in. Uh, this is a uh, true desperation. Uh, <laughs> Nevix, he'll get taken out. The cap's there for LW, and now the Otis is on Misfits to try to get in here and retake it. Yeah, they're going to try to keep overtime going, but the self-destruct is oh. going to take out Manitins, and that's going to be Ruins going over to LW Blue. Yep, nicely done there by LW. So, so far, the team that gets the first cap wins the match. Or wins the round, rather. What do you know? But... Uh, I mean, this is just bloodthirsty play from both sides, though. I mean, relentlessly just swapping back and forth. Not so much like we saw from Envy, where it was, you know, gains of 30, 40 percent. This is more like 15, 20 percent, and then they keep just swapping back. Well, this is the kind of Overwatch that I really love watching, actually, where you've got these two teams that are, like you said, swapping a lot, really trying to be responsive to each other, and it, it shows you the beauty of hero swaps that exists in Overwatch, you know, the adaptability that you can have over time in terms of composition, strategy. It's really, really fun to watch. So as we move on to Well, one of these two teams will win this point and win Ilios. It is just a best of three here in our best of five for the control maps. And once again, Zebesai back on that Vera. Yeah, seems to be a really comfortable spot for him, but getting chunked out by Mecco. Hot on his heels. We'll get a couple heals coming through now as the Mercy rejoins him. Yep. But you can see this Diva is just trying to stick to him like glue. Side going back in over top of the point, firing off of these rockets, trying to build up that ultimeter as fast as he possibly can. Oh, it really well, is Mecco's job to chase down that Diva from now on. Oh, there goes Manitins, LW Blue. Looks like they're going to take this one early. I mean, this works both ways for LW because if Mecco is chasing onto Zebesai, he's also simultaneously chasing onto Nevix because they have that pharmacy comp. So True. he's usually, he's killing two birds with one stone quite literally. Uh, <laughs> You know, in this circumstance, while Zebesai still does have that rocket barrage about to come up, if Nevix is dead, then there's no reincarnate coming through. Yeah. Mako's dead. There's nobody to stop that barrage either. See what we can get. He's got it available now. Looking for an opportunity. Takes out Luna. Doesn't need to use it just yet. Misfits taking the point back again. Such a back and forth match. Again, it's just a 20% swap. We get yeah. 20%. Misfits signs the retake. And I'm sure LW, they're going to find their way back in here shortly and uh, just keep the ball rolling on that. Pharmacy does have both of their ultimates available. Uh, Misfits are getting close to about six. The one thing I really love, too, is the adaptation to have Reinforce on this Winston, too, because he's able to do what Winston's always done great in Pharmacy comps, which is jump in and distract people so they can't shoot at Mercy or Farah. Yeah. He's jumping he's in. Flower's going to get that nano boost coming through, but they just all pile oh. onto him. Is that side? Does end up killing himself. Yeah. But that was, uh, that was an error there. Didn't see exactly what happened. There's a hook on the Sipiobi, though. Oh, oh but Roadhog down the well. Reinforced with a really nice smack. Knocks him in, takes him out. 
And it might be Misfits actually holding on here. Yeah. LW doing their damnedest to try to take this point. They've lost minimal people. It looks like they might actually be able to find a retake. There we go. 55% gain for Misfits. And LW back over to them. Janice almost has that Earth Shatter. Mecco with the self-destruct, but three ultimates here for Misfits. One of them being that reincarnate, so they have a lot that they can play with. Could always just send it to be, you know, use that Dragon Blade if he goes down. If multiple people die. Oh, that was close. Res them all back up. Janus nearly get knocked in the well. Here we go. Going crazy on that Genji. Oh, but Meko, the one coming out ahead, two kills. Gets a couple DPS with that self-destruct. Zebesai still alive, though, for the moment, trying to find a kill. Sibyobi, he's going to give it up and go back to the point. There's one on Meko. Looks like Misfits charging back forward. They're trying to retake this one. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. Yeah, this is looking a little bit grim. You can see Benetton trying to buy man. some time, but it's taken out by Sibyobi with the help of Gambler. Uh, they will maintain a hold over this for now. Yep. Misfits. Burned out quite a bit, only had a pulse bomb really to, to work with at the moment. Yeah, Medicines can line up a really crucial one in multiple members. This could go in their favor. They could find themselves with a retake. They get rid of Janus, so no Reinhardt shield available. Well, Misfits, Zipasai using that rocket barrage. Got one onto Luna. Flower though now on that tracer. Looking for a few more kills. Trying to find Nevix, he goes down. Manitin's helping out there. Mecco just kind of hanging out. You know, like you do when you're out of the diva suit. Where is my mech? Yeah. It's gone. This will be trying to get it back, but reinforced throwing out that self-destruct. Not really going to find anything. LW Blue. Oh, losing the point right as they hit 99%. Every single one of these rounds has been so close. But, I mean, Misfits, they have to hold this all the way to 100% now. They don't really have the ult economy to do that, probably. Right now, LW Blue with an advantage there. I mean, Menethons has to find... You know, the stars aligned Pulse Bomb, basically. Yeah. To try to find Whoa. some success. Zemasai, wow. really nice mid-air sniping. Takes out Mecco. Oh, Diva, you're not supposed to be up there. Yeah. Not out of the suit, anyway. Oh, but Zaba Zaba yeah. somehow uh, gets booped to death there, I would imagine. And Misfits could be in uh, a bit of trouble if they don't get people back in time to defend this next push from LW Blue. Still 10% to go. So they'll be wrapping around the back side. Those at the hook doesn't find to Vic though. Yep. It's a little bit of damage and has that whole hog ready to go. Oh man. See, Vic with the dragon out. blade gets the nano boost out as well, but the huge charge coming in will lock him up. He's still alive for the time being. Gets a big oh. burst of heal coming through. He lived. Vic miraculously stays alive. 99% on the clock. We're into overtime, Doa. No kidding, man. OT 99% to 99%. Sibyobi with the kill on the Nevix. That could be crucial as LW really tries to take it back. They've got the sound barrier to do that with. Flower gets the kill on the Reinforce, who swapped over to the Diva now. And there's the Pulse Bomb. Zebesai goes down. LW Blue, if they can take it back, they may have it. They're going to reclaim the point. Oh, maybe not. Big finds that deflect kill on the flower. They almost have the cap. There it goes, goes through for LW Blue. Now they just need to hold on to it. Oh. Kick Misfits out. They're desperately trying to pile in as best as they can. They boot out Zave. They take him out. And now it's on reinforced. There's not the self destruct, but he doesn't find anyone. Step aside, can't it. make it in in time. And that will be LW Blue coming up with a map one win.